G'day viewers, this is Troy from Troy's Digital Arts channel. Here I am at the old farm site again. And uh, yeah, I've brought my mate Shane with me. Silver Shane. Yep, Silver Shane. Shane. <laughs> Silver Shane. <laughs> But anyway, yeah, Shane, Shane has a knack of finding silvers and uh, yeah, I reckon he'll probably pull some silvers from this area that I've missed uh, with my macro because my macro is probably a bit inferior to the Nox in a number of ways. The Nox is, uh, I think the Nox deals with a lot more frequencies, I believe, and, and it is a more, yeah, co a more complex machine. So, but anyway. Can I so, just say, but yeah. I don't think anybody would uh, have gridded this area as well as you. Yeah. So, you know, it's going to be difficult. I've got a yeah. challenge ahead of me. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And I wish you good luck. Yeah. But anyway, yeah, I'm going to work a, a another section of this of this farm area that I have not worked um, and see how I go. And incidentally, I've just eyeballed a New Zealand five cent piece, which was dropped here recently. Probably, yeah. So probably fairly recently. I have not seen it when I came here last time. Oh, so yeah, go. how's that for a I can go find. towards your coffee. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Normally you find just an Australian five cent but a New Zealand one, eh? <laughs> yeah, they're nice little is that the butterfly one or are you kidding? Uh, oh no, no, no kind uh, of thing, yeah. Yeah. Probably Komodo, I think. Yeah, I don't know. yeah, yeah. Nice. Anyway, yeah. that was a cool anyway, that was a cool uh first find here. <laughs> All right, well, well, anyway, let's get cracking and see how we go today. Yeah, this is my seventh hunt at this farm site too. I'm so, I've been finding like plenty of 1900s stuff, even though the finds are slim pickings. So, yeah, I'm super excited to see what I can find today. All right, let's get to it. Okay, viewers, Shane's working one side of the farm and I'm working the other. He's going to be going at random, but I'm sort of, gridding a, a small area of the farm that I haven't gridded yet. Anyway, dug my first relic. Some sort of triangular thingy. I don't know what it is. Anyway, looks pretty old. I'll take it with me. Let's keep going. Okay viewers, got another signal right next to that triangular shaped object and it appears to be a handle which I believe is probably connected to this uh, triangular object. It's probably a small digger of some sort I'm guessing. Um, don't know. doesn't exactly fit to the break but I believe it's most likely part of the same tool. So yeah that's really cool. So, yeah, I believe it's some kind of, could be some kind of digging tool. Anyway, cool. Found the complete article pretty much. So that's some kind of old digger of some sort, I believe. Anyway, bag it up, keep going. I might go over this spot, I will go over this spot again, see if anything else pops up. Alright viewers, I think we've got a coin down here. It's a mid-range signal, and the, it looks the coin looks to be the size of a two cent. So I'm going to take a bet it could possibly be an early farthing. Let's pull it out and find out. Ah, uh, no, it's a stinking lead washer. Yeah, found a lot of these. Oh, well, bag it up, keep going. Okay, viewers, found an old bullet. It actually rang up like an iron object, but yeah, I'd say this is, yeah, oh, most bullets would be made of lead, I assume. Anyway, yeah, no early bullets. Yeah, it's in pretty decent shape too, so I'd say it hasn't exactly been fired into anything. Alrighty, bag it up, keep going. Okay, viewers. Found a tent peg, or should I say a pent teg? Yeah, doesn't look that old, this tent peg. Anyway, let's keep going. 
Hey okay, viewers, found the remnants of a bullet shell. Alright, let's keep going. Hey okay, viewers, just dug a massive bolt here. Hmm. I think it's a bit big for me to want to take with me. Uh, yeah, it's like not as significant as that hammer that I found, so I'm going to actually leave, rebury this and leave it here. I'm going to just swing my detector around this area just to see if there's anything else beforehand. Anyway, it's a cool find all the same. But yeah, it's going to go back in the ground after I've after I've swung over this spot. Alright, let's get to it. Okay viewers, first buckle of the day. Found plenty of these at this site in my past seven hunts. So yeah, it's pretty well intact too, which is good. Alrighty, bag it up, keep going. There you go, viewers. Found another big iron relic. Got no idea what this is. But it looks like some kind of stake, wedge thingy. Anyway, I think I might, I'll leave this one here too. I'm actually trying not to take the big relics of me because of space constraints. Unless they are super significant, like that hammer file, the file hammer that I found here. Anyway, still it's a cool find. I'll swing over this spot and then I'll rebury it. Alright, let's keep going. Okay viewers, got a low but strong signal and look down and lo and behold there's a pair of sunnies. Someone must have dropped them here quite recently. Anyway, I'll bag them up, take them with me. Might be able to sell them for a decent price maybe, who knows. Alright, bag it up, keep going. Okay viewers, found a big iron relic of some sort. Looks kind of interesting. Not sure what it is. I initially thought it was one of those, those are, uh, those sort of like doors with like the knob and the lock on one side sort of thing. But anyway, I don't know what it is. It's a big clunky iron piece. I'm thinking, I'm debating on whether to take it with me or leave it behind. But anyway, if I take it with me, it'd be in the wrap up. All cleaned up and everything. Anyway, anyway it's, looks pretty cool, interesting. All right, let's keep going. Okay, viewers, found what looks to be, I guess, a plow blade of some sort. Alrighty, back it up, keep going. All right, viewers, finding a few iron relics about here. This one's pretty good. Some triangle piece with a hook on one side. If anybody can tell me what this is, comment below. I'd say it's probably has something to do with horses. Alrighty, very nice relic. Let's bag it up, keep going. Alright viewers, here's a good relic find. Some kind of a uh, wheel thingy. Quite a neat looking object. wonder what it was used on. If anybody knows, Comment below. It's, might have been off one. Could be super old or could be probably modern and off some kind of trolley cart thingy. I don't know. Anyway, cool find. Bag up, keep going. Okay viewers, just doing doing some old area that I've already been over. Got a pretty deep high target. Anyway. Found the end of a bullet shell, it was pretty deep down too. Yeah, it's kind of hoping it was an old coin or an old button, but oh well. At least I'm still actually finding stuff in this area despite totally combing the area. Yeah, uh, Shane's left. Um, yeah, it's gotten too hot today and yeah, he had to go. But anyway, he's found a few good things. Found a nice harmonica reed and and a big bullet that's most likely from a Mary 
from a uh, Henry Martini and, and a few other interesting bits and bobs. Alrighty. Anyway, I'm going to have some lunch now and then carry on. Try a new area of this farm. Okay, viewers. Digging another area I haven't gotten around to doing yet. Just found this... Uh, this uh, cover, which is might be off an old fob watch, or then again, fob watches are rounds most of the time, I guess. But or it could be off one of those, I don't know, lockets, I guess. Those big, those big old locket, lock, some sort of locket, I think. I don't know. Anyway, if anybody has any ideas what this is off, comment below. All right, bag it up, keep going. Hey okay, viewers, found this object here. Don't know what it is. Don't think it's all that old though. That's kind of interesting. If anybody can tell me what it is, comment below. Alright, let's keep going. Hey okay, viewers, uh, right next to that strange object, I've found this old buckle here. Looks pretty old. Alright, let's keep going. There you go, viewers. In the same spot I found that buckle and that weird object. Found this thing here. It's quite interesting. Looks like some kind of ring thing uh, that's been squashed down. And you've got some iron thing here. Once again, if anybody knows what this is, comment below. Anyway, that's an interesting relic. Let's keep going. There you go, viewers. Find a few relics here. Just found in the same hole. That uh, bolt or rivet thing. And this old file. I don't know, I'm, half me says put it back in the ground, half me says take it with me. suppose I'll take this with me as a companion to the the hammer file that I found on the on a previous hunt. Alright, I'll take this with me. Let's keep going. Okay viewers, found an old chain or part of an old chain. All right, let's keep going. Okay, viewers, working further down the hill on the farm site. Found this uh, bottle from, I assume, the 1970s with its bottle cap. Unfortunately damaged. Yeah, Shelley's, Shelley's brand bottle. I'm guessing it's from the 70s. Or maybe 80s, I don't know. Alright, I'll take it with me, clean up the place, let's keep going. Okay viewers, been trying the lower areas of the of the uh, farm site, finding nothing at all. Anyway, I'm working my way back up to the main area and yeah, found this chain here. I'm not going to bother pulling it out, I'm just going to leave it behind. Anyway, just seeing, I'm just still working the lower areas of the farm but getting closer back seeing see if there is actually any relics in these lower areas well not so lower areas anyway let's keep going see how I go okay viewers found an interesting relic looks to be pretty old no idea what it is but had this uh, trigger thing Hmm, could be off a toy gun maybe. Looks like a gun trigger. And you got this circular object. If anybody can tell me what this is, comment below. I'm very curious about this item. Alright, let's keep going. Hey okay, viewers, slogged it out digging this deep hole in a in a rock hard soil and I dug myself an old bill buckle 
Yeah, super deep. I'd say it's probably from the mid 19th century because that was about as deep as I found that 1826 penny when I first hunted the spot. Alrighty, really old belt buckle. Cool, let's keep going. Okay, viewers, here's a wrap up of last Sunday's Saturday's hunt up at that old farm site I've been hunting, hunting several times. This time uh, Shane came along and hunted with me for a little while. And uh, yeah, it wasn't a, wasn't a fantastic hunt this time. I did not find one old Vicky coin. Did not find any like major, major relics either. Pretty much cleaned the area out. But yeah, it was, the finds were very far and few in between, but still found a few good things. Or a bunch of good things. Anyway, so yeah, when, I, when we got there, first uh, find was a surface find, New Zealand five cent piece. Yeah, people walk through there, so people drop coins. Found a, a bullet and a couple of shells. What's left of them. Found this uh, plate thing. Probably off a locket or a frog watch, maybe. I don't know. Found this thing out. It might have been a bell or something. A bike bell, maybe. I don't know. It had had this uh, this uh, lever on, with it. Found this thing. No idea what it is. Probably not all that old. Found a few belt buckles and horse buckle. Found this uh, wheel thingy. And found some iron relics. Don't know what this is. That's probably a plow blade. Found a bit of a chain. This uh, triangular piece with a hook on the end. Don't know what it is. Found this uh, old iron rivet. Found this, so this ring handle. It's been squashed and it's attached to something that's of iron. Found this, uh, I don't know if it's a digger or not, but it's it's got a handle and it's got a triangular end with three holes in it. If anyone knows what that is, comment below. I'm curious about to know what it is. And finally found this uh, file. It was all caked up with rust. And I found this file here, which was caked up with rust, but I banged it, banged off the rust, and it's still got its shape, so that's good. All right, viewers. So, yeah, I think I'm going to probably leave that farm site for a while. At least till it all cool, at least till the weather cools down, because it's going to be searing hot this coming weekend. So I'm definitely not going up there. <laughs> 35 plus degrees. Fuck that. <laughs> anyway, hope you enjoy this hunt. Stay tuned for my next hunt. This is Troy from the Choice Visual Arts Channel signing out.